Hey, what is going on, guys? I'm Zipo Gamer right here, and I want to wish you all Happy New Year. And also, welcome to the first Joomla tutorial. And in this tutorial, we will learn how to download and install Joomla on a free MySQL server. So basically, Joomla is a content management system, aka CMS. So basically, what it does is that it helps you to manage your content for your website. So it actually makes your job easier on building a website, and yeah. So basically, to get started, you just want to click the first link description below. It will take you to this page, and on the first link where it says 1.73 full package, you click on the zip, and um, you should start downloading. Okay, then you want to click on the second link description below because now you need to upload your Joomla into a web server. So here, um, here we bring you the website called triple zero webhost.com, and basically. It's a web hosting site and it's a free web hosting site. So what you're gonna do is um, you gotta register, and um, you can either choose a custom domain or a free domain, a free subdomain from webhost.com. I recommend you to use a subdomain first because you're currently learning how to make a website. So yeah, just use a subdomain, and once you are a uh, professional, then you can just make your own website and yeah, use a custom domain. So we're just gonna call this uh, Joomla tutorial. Tutorial one one. Hope that's able. Okay. So now basically you need to go to your email address, which is your email address, and um, you need to verify it. So now I just verified it, and it says status building. I'm going to click refresh status. As you can see, it's active. So now I just click go to C panel. Okay. Now basically, you want to go to one click website restore and we want to upload the Joomla zip file we just downloaded. Uh, yeah, there, right there. Click upload. Okay, so just let it upload. Alright, once it's uploaded, it will say. Upload fail because one one these reasons of one of one of these reasons. It says all this uh, error and all that crap. But do not get worried if you see this because um it's a false error. Actually, it already been uploaded. It already been uploaded. So yeah, I'll show you guys that this is a false message later. But anyways, now we'll have to go and um, um configure our SQL server. So scroll down, click on my SQL. Okay, then here you have to create a new database and user. So your database name can be anything you want. I'm just gonna name this um, Joomla Joomla one one. Oops, Joomla maybe um Joomla nineteen. Okay, I'm just gonna copy this. Um, password. And click create database. Okay, then you will get this thing right here. Now what you want to do is just go open up Notepad and um, copy this. Oops, copy this and paste it into your Notepad. Okay, now you want to click back to control panel. Now we'll have to configure the configure Joomla onto our server. So you want to go click on file manager and you want to type in your password okay now if you go to pu oops go to public And see all the files from the Joomla zip files have already been uploaded inside here so as I said this now that error message is a false message so now all you gotta do is just click um, new file uh, I want to delete this and for the new file name you're going to type in configuration.php and click this save icon and then click this back 
icon. All right, now take your configuration PHP and click CH mod. Okay, now I want to um, take all of these checkboxes and then click set all permissions. And you make sure the CH mod value is 777 and then click on this uh, submit icon and then click on back. Okay, and you know what? We are done. So basically, you want to go to your you want to go to your website. Okay, and it will redirect us to the Joomla web installer. Okay, basically, I want to um, choose English. Click next. I mean, any language you want actually, and then um, don't really have to worry about this. Click next. Uh, next okay here database type at mysql host name go to your notepad um on the first one you copy the and paste it on your host name for username do the same thing copy the uh, user for password do the same thing And database name. Um, table prefix. You don't really have to. You don't really have to worry about it. And then just click next. Um, next. Okay, site name can be whatever you want. You can type in Joomla tutorial one one. Huh. Again. I mean, leave it. I mean, and, um, oh. and click install sample data. Okay, once that's done, click next. All right, then uh, I will ask you to remove the installation folder. So remove installation folder and installation folder successfully removed. And you want to click on this administrator button. Alright, for the username, we're going to type in the username you registered for Joomla just now. Mine was admin password. And um, login. Alright, so now we have this administration panel. And um, here's basically where you can edit your whole website thing. So you can add a new article, article manager, and all that. And um, the cool thing about Joomla is actually when you actually sign up for Joomla, Joomla has already started building your website for you. And if you go view your website again, um, you can see um, it actually helps you to build your website already without without you building anything. So yeah, it's actually this is actually just like a reference for you. Um, know what you're doing and all that. So, yeah, basically that's about it. Um, thanks for watching, like it, and please subscribe my channel for more tutorials, unboxings, and much more.